What's good, YouTube? This is after doing uh, legs and back with P90X. Um, uh, I did, I did real good on this one. Uh, this week was, you know, it was real good, real good workouts all week. Uh, put in more than my all all week. Uh, threw up sometime this week about two three times with two three different other exercises. Thing one with chest and back plyometrics. I mean, this week was, it was something else. Uh, I'm starting to burn like a thousand, about a thousand, eleven hundred twenty six calories this exercise. Um, I wish I had posted in, uh, in um, arms and back how much I burned during that exercise. I mean, just, just, I mean, arms and triceps and uh, shoulders during that exercise. I wish I had posted how much I, I burned during that. I actually burned uh, quite a bit of calories during that exercise. Also, I don't remember the amount, but I, I know it was close to a thousand. You know, the first week I did it, um, I put on my watch like toward the middle of the exercise and uh, burned like 1,100 and no, it was like 500 and something calories, and that was like toward the middle or toward the end. And I mean, I thought that was, I thought it was broke. But you know, like um, yesterday, um, today is Saturday, by the way, Saturday, February the 26th. Um, I didn't get the chance to work out on the 25th, which was Friday. Um, I didn't have to work that day, and I um, took off on a, on a little road trip to get some things taken care of. I needed to get care, taken care of. And by the time I got back with the boys and you know, all of us, we, we pretty much just crashed. You know, we got back here about like 11 something after being on the road all day. Um, uh, started out with a good breakfast. Pretty much we, we, we burnt out at, uh, like four or something in the morning. And, um, uh, like I said, we didn't get back to like 11 something at night. I mean, so we ate on the road. The first time we ate was at, uh, IHOP, which was pretty good. Uh, I had an egg white omelet, the egg white steak, egg steak omelet and some hash browns. Um, they cook their steak and on the grill in uh, a little bit of uh, non-fat um, oil, but I had them cook mine completely dry, dry, you know, like no no oil at all. Um, so mine was pretty mine was pretty decent. Then um, um, I didn't eat for the rest of the day. I had a bag of um, what was it uh, walnuts in my in my car in my truck, and um, I snacked on those while we were on the road. And um, I passed up McDonald's and all that, but toward later on. Started getting hungry, got the stomach cramps, and we stopped by a Chinese buffet. I didn't eat like six or seven plates. I had two plates though. One with some lo mein noodles and General Tao's chicken on both of them, and then I had about four of those uh crab rangoon things, the things with the cream cheese in it. So I felt bad about that. I ate two plates of food. They weren't the big mountain plates either. They were they were just little you know little chicken here. With the, well, I also had some broccoli and chicken also. Um, I felt pretty good about that, but I know that uh, General Tao's chicken is fried, so. You know, that's and it's one of those crab rangoons, so that that kind of messed with me a little bit. But still, no sodas, no no sugary drinks or nothing like that. I'm staying away from the sugar. I just need to figure out like good things to eat when I'm on the road, cause that that that's something that's something I'm gonna post in one of my next week's videos about uh, things to cut out is road foods. But if you have to, what to eat on the road? If you can't get home to your kitchen, or you can't find a uh, Subway, believe it or not, Subway has good calories. And, you know, they have good things so in some of their foods, but watch their breads. They, 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 I mean, they, they, you can, you can pick up a lot of calories in Subway eating there. So don't believe the hype. Um, wanna so say, yeah, so I mean, basically chest and back went good. Like I said, it's Saturday. I had, I skipped Friday. So I, I'm did, I did, uh, I mean, I did legs and back today because I couldn't do it Friday. And I'm also going to do, uh, Kempo X. I'm going to do that around like seven or eight o'clock. You know, uh, so after I do that, you know, I'll have both my workouts in for the week and then I can start back, you know, Sunday I can get back on, um, uh, stretch X and then, you know, whoop -de -whoop, um, just keep it moving. Uh, right now I'm waiting on my baked chicken to get done. I really need to get this eaten six times a day under control. Cause I, me, I don't really, I don't, I mean, I'm not really, I'm not really a big eater anyway, you know, so I could eat. At eight o'clock in the morning and then wait until like, I don't know, like four or five in the afternoon before I eat again. But the problem with that is, is you, you eat a lot at once. So, you know, I, I eat a pretty big breakfast and then I'll eat, I'll eat some lunch and then I'll pass out on that. You know, I'll, I'll go the rest of the day after four o'clock without eating and then go to sleep. You know, that, that's, that's not good because you wake up the next morning and then you eat even more because you didn't eat until you didn't eat. Last time you ate was four o'clock in the afternoon of the, the day before. You know, you just keep that going, you keep that cycle going before you know it. 
then you eat like all these big meals and you, it just gets horrible. You know, that's how people, it starts out small and then it just grows like everything else. So, I mean, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, can't wait to do Kempo X. Got to head out and finish some more things on this Saturday evening that I didn't get to do yesterday from being out of town. So, other than that, uh, all is well. Everything's pretty good. I'll subscribe, leave comments.